Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. Let's head in and check out last night's sleep research. Going to use my Go Plus Plus. And I'll have some more to report on the smart watch stuff once we get to news. Hope everyone slept well. Full 100 sleep score. 10 less minutes for me, but I did get to bed a little bit later than expected. Kind of mostly normal night of sleep. A couple of good chunks of slumbering. <coughs> Pardon. It was good to see. But it looks like snoozing beats out <laughs> just a little bit more, which is good. For me, that's what feels like the most restful sleep. I wonder what new sleep battles we'll see today. Ooh! Finally getting in a top belly. 24 million drowsy power. With six spawns. Alright, we got a Weeping Bell atop belly. Realu. Jigglypuff. Wobbuffet. Bellsprout. And Slowpoke. No! New sleep styles. Well, golly. I had heard some reports from folks yesterday also encountering this where, despite being boosted, some of it just, you know, doesn't show up. Which does kind of stink just a little bit. It doesn't feel the greatest when, like, that's the intent of this event and it doesn't show up. Uh, also, it makes it difficult for me to really make a choice, considering I'm pretty well off on all of these Pokémon. I think Riolu is the only one that I don't have something dedicated, but Riolu and Lucario are... Dream Shard collecting Pokemon, so they're not ones that are like top on the priority list. <clears throat> hmm, so that's actually a particularly interesting question. Because I really, yeah, I'm just gonna feed it to Lucario or <laughs> to Riolu. I'm not actually going to take it home with that. I know I do did just get a nice influx of 10 biscuits as a gift yesterday, but... And... Nothing here I absolutely need, so... I'm just going to move on. Yeah. Victory Bell is still a good ingredient collector, and it's a fun four-star sleep to share, so we'll go with that. Alright, a little bit of XP. This is the last stretch, so... <laughs> I'm expecting it to, to take a little bit of time to get to max rank. Alright, let the team recover a little bit. to report back in about the Apple situation. I feel like I got that a little bit better under control now, now that I've got a good couple of meals set up for it. So I can feel free to keep Absol and Pinsir on the team to continue to pull in a bigger chunk of apples. Uh, but Dedene, well, either Absol or Dedene, uh, I can, can swap out to get a berry collector back on the team. One of the things that did remind me I do want to follow up on is like I'm trying to just keep mental notes of the things that I want to see tr differences when starting to do smartwatch tracking instead of go plus plus tracking is does it still take into consideration the Pokestops I've spun even though it isn't directly syncing with the Go++ for sleep data. 
because that might be another incentive. Even if it's a slight advantage with just a couple of ingredients and berries that the Sleep Hat Pikachu brings in. So, just saying that out loud, I can keep myself accountable for when I go through that training, when uh, go through that research when it comes up. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to make breakfast j just yet, but I think we got some, some news to catch up on. And I know that we just talked about a lot of big news yesterday, but even more news today. <laughs> That's right. First off, did the event for Old Gold Power Plant debut. Here's an opportunity to research Pokemon that appear at Old Gold Power Plant on Green Grass Isle. Aaron, Jinx, and Grubbin, who live at the Old Gold Power Plant, will also appear on Green Grass Isle during this two week long event. On top of that, you can get great rewards like Aaron Incense, Shinx Incense, and Grubbin Incense. I completed limited time research, limited time missions during the event. After October 30th at 11 p.m., you'll no longer be able to use those incenses on Greengrass Isle, so much like it was when we had Lapis introduced. We hope you're looking forward to this event. So, starting from October 7th and running until October 21st. And it will be happening on Greengrass Isle as well as Old Gold Power Plant. And the missions will run. First week of missions will run the full two weeks. The second week will start on October 14th and then run until the 21st. <clears throat> the following effects will trigger in the applicable areas during the event. Certain Pokemon will be more likely to appear during sleep research, and a few Pokemon of different sleep styles will appear during sleep research regardless of your sleep style for that day. Pokemon you could encounter. Great, slightly greater appearance rates. Aaron, Shinx, and Grubbin. And to researchers who have already unlocked gold, Old Gold Power Plant, if you encounter, if you want to encounter Aaron, Shinx, or Grubbin, we recommend that you research on Old Gold Power Plant. They are more likely to encounter these Pokemon than on green grass during this period. So cool! We're getting three new Pokemon families being added, which is very exciting. Uh, no major details on them yet, but um, I find this just as exciting as when Lapis was introduced that, like, that's how we saw Ralts, Tratini, Stuffle added. So, much the same, these will be some, hopefully at least one of these will be an absolute powerhouse to be added to the lineup, but also good to see because they will be useful. I assume in Old World Power Point. And we've got some more info here in the new area, Old Gold Power Plant. And we have a nice, wonderful uh, new wallpaper image. This, I believe, is also available through the website, so if you need a new desktop wallpaper or, or screensaver, there you go. We've also got, in that image, the evolutionary lines as well. So, it's just, that's a cool, fun image. It, it's kind of helping to give the vibes of, like, not quite what I was expecting, but fun nonetheless. It's re been reported that the new area, the old gold power plant, has been found, and it seems likely that new Pokemon encounters await you there. We hope you complete your sleep style deck goals and further your sleep research at the old gold power plant. So that'll be unlocked at 3 p.m. on October 2nd, and you need to have completed registering 340 sleep styles to unlock it. Note, you can meet these Pokemon at Old Gold Power Plant. Dozing, you've got Grubbin, Chargebug, Vigavolt. Snoozing, you've got Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. And Slumbering, Aaron, Larian, and Agron. And Snorlax's favorite berries are Greppa, which is the electric type berry, Blueberry, which is the ghost type berry, and Baloo Berry, which is the steel berry. So, electric and steel. I got my bingo card for, for those. Was not expecting ghost type. I guess that's the old, in the old gold power plant. Uh, so, very exciting, very timely for October. So, uh, 
hopefully we'll also be seeing some of our electric ghost and steel friends there as well. So I would imagine Pikachu lineup, the Ghastly lineup, a couple of our other ghost friends from Topalo as well, as well as some of our steel friends like the Magnemite family and maybe Steelix? Exciting. Fun. Uh -oh. So, now we can start to re prepare to have a team ready. Once... <laughs> I hope that they give us another helper team slot. Um, so I can keep a old gold power plant team put together. Otherwise I might have to overwrite one of the other ones. Which isn't the end of the world, but... I would like to see... It's, it's ready to be time to get prepared. Since that'll be here before we know it, but... Um, exciting, nonetheless. I also unlocked a medal for 180 grass type. Thank you, Bellsprout and Weepin' Bell. Energy Pillow. Thankfully, I've just been stockpiling those, so those are there and ready to go as I need them. Alright, 34 reports from the community. And I don't believe that they've added... Okay, I just wanted to check now that it's actually been a regular full night. Um... Something else I wanted to circle back on, now that I've gotten kind of the settings stuff squared away. Um, like I did mention, I did circle around around the social media yesterday just to kind of find out what was going on for those that were brave enough to try. And it seems like there are some troubles. Some folks getting their sleep tracking done perfectly, some having some difficulty with having it recognized. So, uh, just be mindful. It uh, it certainly seems like some folks, you know, like it does work, uh, but sometimes there may be compatibility issues. And please consult any of the troubleshooting and support articles that are available, not only through this news post but through the Sleep website, to make sure that you are doing everything possible to track correctly. For me, at least for these events, until we get to a vanilla week, I will be continuing to use the Go++ just to make sure that I am accurately recording that. Just because I don't know how my smartwatch tracking will act differently than the Go++ tracking. All right. Uh, no triggers to start the day to dead eh? All right. I did get a double trigger at the end of the night, so I do have a nice 8% additional built up. Time to cash it in. 60,000 dish strength. Nice little chunk. And I did miss lunch yesterday, so that does feel better to make up for the fact that I had a missed meal. Maybe that's why I didn't have such spectacular spawns. I was not at optimal strength. It is time to, now that I've collected from everyone, 
that at least that would have a trigger. We can shift gears. I think I've got enough. I kind of do want to keep the Denai on the team just to get some more. Why is it extra tasty? So I think this is also a good opportunity. Meganium would actually be helpful there as well. Gardevoir helps the team, but it's not effectively giving me much of the ingredients that I want. So, we'll let Meganium run, run on there for a little bit. You're still nice and full. Cool. All right. So, now that that's been squared away, uh, I did end up going through cleaning up a little bit and calculating. So, our, our prior Quaxley with the Leak Leak is also a 76%. Um, so while not 100% ideal, just with that speed of help down, it is at least to me passable enough that if I do want to invest in it, when it does get to 75 and 100, it is effectively acting as a 98-99% IV Pokemon for its spread. Um, so it is something that would be a tremendous investment on my part, but that could be it is one of the best leak producers in the game. So I think it is a worthwhile thing to hold on to, at least for now, until something else comes my way. I'll just continue to stockpile until that happens. Right now I don't have anything that I'm making with leaks currently. But another reason I want to come in here... Oh, just before I round out today's video. So. We have the Grappa Berry, the Blue Berry, and the Bellu Berry. These are our Pokemon that would be helpful for old gold power plant so this is actually an opportunity that if i did want to build a electric team hey i get good old raiko there to help throw on a couple of pokemon so a couple of pikachu and Tadene would also be helpful uh you got it's right ambrose the brief line so that's helpful from the skill trigger department. And of course I got a good chunk of I got a few of the ghastly family that are also super helpful especially from their ingredient collecting. Looks like it would be good for a curry week, at least with the way it's laid out. So, a couple of really good choices in that, in that round out. Um, so, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's nice that there is still a uh, another spot of progression kind of on the horizon. Sometimes it's a bummer when you get to the the end of It gets to be a bummer sometimes when you get to the end 
of progression and you're really at a true end game piece of content. And it's nice to just have that continual additional bit of road put out in front of you. So I hope that news comes as some, some good vibes for the day. I'm certainly in good spirits singing some new stuff coming up. And I hope you'll join me once the time is right. But that is what I have for today. As we continue Sleep Style Discovery Week. Thankfully, enough sleep styles are unlocked for me to progress to a gold power plant once it unlocks. But I hope you all have better luck. Programming note for tomorrow. It will be a late record for me, so we will see after I've gotten through breakfast and lunch where things turn out. So have a little bit more time to hopefully get a little bit higher up in the ultras. And I hope you'll join me to see how that turns out. That's what I've got for today. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you back tomorrow. Until then, sleep well. <laughs>